Welcome back, guys. I have been uh, I have been having some fun, <laughs> and uh, yeah. Do you remember I said at the end of the last episode, between that episode and this episode, I was gonna go around and uh, like upgrade all the towns and sort out all the routes and stuff. <laughs> yeah, right. If I had a week, I have done uh, three towns. I've done uh, Confusedford, Bickety's Hollow, and Rogie, right? And they're taking me about an hour each. To, to get sorted out, right? And that's just sorting the towns out. Because, like, once you get into it, oh my god, all the little details and stuff. I, oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. So, I thought what I'd do is, um, is rather than spend another, like, I don't know, 11 hours on that and then, like, just god knows how many hours on the, on the, on the production chains and all the rest of it, um, I thought what we do is um, is play around with the airports because we want to see the freaking Concords and the 737s and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to move some stuff around because right now our, airport, our, our airports aren't working, right? And if you look at the distances, this isn't like, well, it's not really that far apart. I mean, I suppose if you take the train, then you've got to go all around here or whatever. But I think if we can space them out a bit further, it would, uh, it might help. And I really want to get the planes working. So, and plus, we're missing access to the most popular tourist destination in the world. Somewhere else. I want to go somewhere else. So, um, so yeah, we're going to put, um, we're going to put an airport in over there. We're going to get rid of Ice Cream Airport. That's going. Because, um... Because for one thing, it ain't working, so I can't figure out why. So, so that's and definitely we'll get gone. rid of those, and we'll get rid of those, and we'll get rid of those. Now, while you know what, let's um, let's let them go back to the depots and be sold. While while they're doing that, I'll kind of show you what I've been doing in the um, in the other towns, and then we'll sort the airports out. Um, I'll probably do I'll probably do one town, like like while you're here or something. We'll see. We'll see. Let's uh, let's look at Rogie, I think, because um, Rogie's kind of, I think, probably a good example. Oh, there go the airplanes. Uh, let's run it on medium, I think. Medium is probably a good speed. Okay, so as you can see, I've expanded Rogie quite a lot over here, right? And it's because we've got the freight station over here. So it's kind of a good idea to try and encourage the town to expand over here. So what have I actually done? Well, if we bring up the, the line manager... I've started colour coding the lines, for one thing, which a lot of you have asked me to do. And I think it's actually a good idea. So, basically, we've got the, the bus routes, which are now this um, light blue and red. Right? So you can see those pretty clearly. And what I've done is, on the bus routes, changed the bus routes, uh, the roads on the bus route, to have um, uh, four lanes and bus lanes. So if I actually close this down, uh, if I can figure out how to close this down, here we go. Then you'll say, look, we've got bus lanes. Oh my lord, we've got bus lanes. So our buses can kind of fly around now. And fly around they are. And it's going to be very interesting to see if we now start um, accommodating our passengers a bit better. Look, I mean, because look at the queues. Right, so it'll be kind of good if our buses can start flying around. And look at the way the doors open and people get on. And, uh, this, man, this game is so freaking insanely good. I've heard, I've heard some people, some people have been criticising this game. It's like, God, I find it... Okay, is it perfect? That's no, not perfect, but my, oh my God, it's incredibly good. Cool, so our buses are flying around. And I think they're going to start to hopefully get these queues down a bit. Um, I should really upgrade these buses to the, the new man's. So, replacement, 25%. Yes, set vehicle. Uh, where did it go? Down there. And upgrade to the man. Okay. And, uh, yep, that's done. So, vehicles. Oh, man. Can you see why it's the way the whole thing is, like, taking so long? Like, uh, wait till you see me try and upgrade one of the towns. You'll kind of see why it's taking so long. It, but it's freaking awesome. It's fun. I, like, it just is. It's so freaking engaging. Like, seriously, I, it, doing this has made me want to go back to, like, 1850 and start again. I cannot wait to start the next series, guys. I am, like, itching to start the next series. 
And we're going to do that on the American map, and it's going to be... Fr I think it's going to be one of the most epic things that I've ever done. Like, on the scale of building London. Like, seriously. Um, what am I doing? Yeah, 25%, yes, and vehicles. Can you kind of tell how excited I am? It's ridiculous. Can you tell, also tell that I've got a little bit of a cold? I am, sorry, I'm a bit sniffy today. Sorry. Sorry. Nothing I can do about it. Any of you guys going to upgrade? We were having a look at Rogie, weren't we? And I was telling you what I was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, put the bus routes in. And then on the... So, they're the red and blue ones. And then over here, for the uh, industrial and commercial shipping, the freight shipping. i bring this up. Uh, no. This one. There we go. Um, these I'm making uh, yellow and green. And you can see we've got one route shipping into this area. And I guess I need to show you layout so I've got one shipping into this and I've been moving these route the the depots around to give better coverage oh and we've got the open wagon now the upgraded open wagon isn't that nice so so yeah so, so, so this one was like over here right and I've moved it over here so that we can actually cover a much bigger area and um, see so this one's covering this and yeah and this is covering the rest of this but on the basis that we've got the station over here and the depot, I've um, put roads in all around here to try and encourage the town to grow in this direction. Hopefully, industry and commerce will uh, will start to develop over here. Would be nice. Um, none of these are upgrading, which means that these vehicles must be pretty new. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, they're only two years old. Damn it. I... Yeah. I'd have to send them all back to the depots and okay well you know what we'll live with them as they are then though. so I don't know I might um, I might between this episode and the next next episode I'd like to send them all back to the depots and buy new ones and stuff uh, but I kind of don't I can, you know I kind of don't really want to do that because the problem is if you do that you get a slowdown in everything and I don't really want that so okay so um, uh, yeah and I've um, upgraded the roads for those um, industrial and commercial uh, truck freight lines so that they're all at least four lane roads and you can see traffic is, is kind of flying around which it wasn't before and we're we're shipping the little bit of stuff that we are getting here the other thing that I, the other change that I want to make to uh, to Rogi is I when I started doing this I realized down here there is a, an oil refinery right now we are shipping crude oil from um, where is it we're shipping crude oil from here right um, why not put in uh, some uh, some some uh, a crude oil refinery so put in maybe another freight terminal that's what I'm thinking of doing putting in another freight station over here drop the oil off right then we can pick up fuel that'll get shipped around to um, to uh, Troy right we can ship it directly into Rogi by truck and things start to get fairly awesome. The other thing I could do, I mean, I could, I could use that and just truck it over here. I don't know. The other thing I'm thinking of doing is, is because I, I, I'd like to change this viaduct a bit because it's, I don't know, it's a bit. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a massive fan of this viaduct. So I don't know. I, that's what I'm thinking about anyway. Right, um, airports. So let's get rid of this. Okay, so that's that gone. Um, I'll smooth the terrain later. Don't worry about that. And then, like, I can have the town expand into here a bit more. Probably put a put a shipping route in here somewhere. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Um, so we're going to have um, we're going to have somewhere else airport. Like, I don't know, over here, somewhere, somewhere else. Um, that's pretty flat here as well. So I think this might be a, might be a fairly good idea. Now, where do I want if I put it in between these two, then it can serve both of these. Yeah, 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 that would be a good idea. So I don't know, maybe maybe somewhere around here. If um, if I get let's get rid of this, let's start doing something. Let's start doing something. My God, oh, there's so many things I want to do, and it's like it's already 1978 for God's sake. I want to go back. I want to go back to 1850 and do it all again and do it better. All right, let's um. Yeah, let's just run you down there. Oh, the other reason that I stopped doing what I was doing was I'd already spent like a hundred million 
I don't know whether you noticed that. Actually, let's let's have a look at that because, look, construction costs, 100 million, right? Just on three towns. So if I'd have done the other other 11, that would have been another what? Uh, three to four hundred another another three to four hundred million and that's without touching the production lines or upgrading any trains or anything so um so yeah little little bit of an issue um things are definitely improving though look look at this we've already made i mean we made what so i spent 100 million we only lost 36 and i spent 19 million on new vehicles you see, I'm struggling with the old voice. Uh, so that's like 126 million we spent. Uh, so we made about 90 million last year. And we've made like 50 million and we're only halfway through this year. So yeah, the improvements are definitely making a big difference. Um, right. Shut up, Sky. Build something for God's sake, will you? All right, all right, all right. Right, let's... Um, let's take this road out as well now how are we going to get to the airport i'm thinking i'm thinking trams guys what are you thinking i'm thinking trams so let's put um let's see extra large country road what do you think extra large country road across here something something like that yeah cool right let's see can we get an airport somewhere in here now that's where it's going in. All right, cool. Now, this needs to be named. And even though it's slightly closer to um, to Spilsby, this is going to be renamed to somewhere else airport. Cha-ching. All right. That's the other thing. I've got some naming to do as well. Um, you know, there's one bit of naming, I might, which I might do. Like, Actually, yeah, Spil well, Spilsby. Oh, yeah, okay, so Spilsby is going to become the town of Gangu. There we go. Another one of my new patrons has to be in. There you go. Gangu. Done. Sweet. Um, alrighty. So we want to we want to upgrade this, don't we? Yeah, we do. Um, upgrade. Yeah, let's get three terminals going. Yeah. Cool. And and we haven't really looked at the new airports and the new airports. Look at that. They are quite cool, aren't they? I like it. I like it. I like the whole way everything upgrades and stuff. This bit here, I think we want to tunnel under here and have the trams. Oh, well, do, we, do we want to tunnel? Do we want a bridge? I don't know. I don't know. What I love about this game is that you can immerse yourself in it for hours. And, like, doing, doing uh, you know, little things or big things or silly things or whatever. And there's just freaking hours and hours of fun in it. I do. I like. I don't know why. I cannot figure out why this game, like, appeals to me like so much. I think it's the. I think, I think it's just the amount of detail that you can put into it. Like all the optimization and all that kind of stuff. Too much slop. What about if I drop you down? Would you? Oh, then you'd be happy. Um, do we want to? Do we want a tunnel or do we want a bridge? I think we want a bridge. Oh, I thought I want to see my trams going over the bridge. Yeah, yeah, and if I'm going to do that, I'm going to take it back a touch. Have a smoother bridge. In fact, let's take it back like, a touch more. Let's have a nice, nice smooth bridge going over here. Construction not possible. We'll be in a second. There we go. Now that's more like it. What sort of bridge do we want? That's very cool. I like that. Yes. We'll accept that. Oh, maybe, maybe there. Yeah. Yeah, that hasn't messed up the train. Good. All right, cool. Um, okay, so we've got that airport in. We've got that road done. Right, we want a tram route to supply it with uh, with people, hopefully. Now, one of the reasons for, for choosing somewhere else is that somewhere else is already being sub well supplied with food, right? So commercial is um, is pretty happy here. So I think if we put the um, the airport in and provide a decent tram link into the town, um, I'm hoping we're going to get some passengers. I, I really am. So we um, now we want this this route to be like full on into town. Now we could put the tram depot like anywhere. That doesn't matter. 
what we need is some like tram stops around the place. I'm just I'm just kind of thinking about a route. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe the tram comes around the outside, but maybe it cuts into the center of town here and goes up here. What do you think? Okay, well the tram route's gonna come in here. I think we maybe come into the center, then go up there, round, and then I think we wanna come across here. All right, cool. Uh, what next, what next, what next, what next? So let's have a look at my not straight be tram track. So, oh, so we come in here, go up here, around the town, and in here. Okay, cool. So all we need to do now is put in um, put in a depot, put in some stops. Okay, tram stops. Uh, road passenger tram stops. How are we going to do this? Right, well, the first thing, we'll put the kind of the ones in the center, and I want those there. And how big is the cover? Is it? Okay, so then, then let's put some, I don't know, up there. Over there. Down here. Um... Over there. That's fairly good coverage, isn't it? And then we'll have a last couple of stops over here. There we go. All right. And then let's nip over to uh, Gangu. I should have called it like Gingang. Gooly, 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 gooly watcher. Gingangu. Uh, but I don't think there's enough text to. Um, I don't think there's text long enough to allow me to put that in. So where the hell was I going with this? <laughs> This tram, it's going around the outside, and then it comes into the center. Oh, yeah. I remember. I remember now. So we want to put tram stops there. So we want tram stops probably somewhere like over there, and here. something over here. Actually, no. Nope. I think instead of doing that, we'll have these a bit further back over this way. Might be on this corner. Yeah, on this corner. And then we'll have some over there. And actually, I should have brought those a bit further back, shouldn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See how fussy I'm getting? Like, like it's getting crazy fussy now. So... Because I'm thinking about the town expanding and how the coverage is going to be and all kinds of crazy stuff. So, yeah, that's going to be up there. Then I want a stop up here to cover this area. There we go. And do I put one over here? Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? All right, cool. There we go, cool. Uh, and the depot, where are we going to put the depot? Well, I think we'll put the depot <clears throat> probably probably next to this. There we go. Cool. So, buy trams. How many trams are we going to want? Uh, we're going to want, like, one, two, three, four. I don't know. What do you think, like? To, to service this, I'm thinking, like, maybe eight. Uh, that's five. What's that? Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, done. All right. Uh, now we need to set up. Um, well, I know. Yeah, I've got eight. But well, looking at this, I'm thinking I'm going to want eight on each route. Set line or new line. All right. And let's make it something that we can see. What should we make tram lines? Pink. Pink and something else probably. So the trams are going to come down here. They're going to go straight into the centre of town. And then go up London Road and around there and there and there and there. Then they're going to go back to Gango South. Then they're going to shoot over here. Now, how are we going to do I think they'll come... 
around this way, so there, there, and there, 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 and there. Okay, had a little problem because um, I hadn't made this an electric track, and now I've upgraded it to an electric track. So let's try that again. So right now, can I put all of these onto Gangu One? Yes, I can. Cha Ching, good. Okay, right now the other line that I just created, <laughs> I can actually get rid of. That was my th that was the second attempt. Let's just get rid of that. There we go. Right, so now we can put the other line in. So we'll buy another eight trams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That might be overkill, eight trams, but we'll kind of see. I, I, I would really like this to be to be popular and work and stuff. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll live in hope. Um, what what colour are we going to make the other line then? So we've got pink, I don't know, like orange. Yeah, it stands out. So, add station. So we'll start from up there. here and... This is very. I, I must admit, I. It's really weird. I, I guess because I I live somewhere where, or I've lived in places where there's never been any trams. Trams is not something that I kind of instantly think of, and I, I kind of. Uh, I'm not, not shy away from them, but I just it just I don't know. I just. Just don't you? Well, actually, I no, that's not true because I lived in Zurich. Zurich has trams. Okay, that is my two lines set up, clockwise and anti-clockwise which all seems to work pretty nice. Now let's see, 146 seconds, but we have got this long bit in between, so I would think the stops around town are pretty frequent. I don't know, we may, we may need to increase the number of trams. We'll see, we will see. All right, so that's, um, that's somewhere else. Uh, where else are we gonna go to then? And yeah, I mean, we could potentially link these up to uh, to Maisley and Ice Cream as well. Um, maybe the train route. Maybe with more trams. I don't know. The trams do seem to work very well, I have to say. Our uh, our other tram route is doing really good. The Sparks Yorkie is making... It's making around about a million a year. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Finances. Yeah, it's been making... Yeah, well, over half a million. Um, where am I going to put the other two airports? Now, I did think about putting one. Over here, didn't I? Yeah, in between Troy and Rogie, which is which is a fair distance away. Um, but the the ground is very very uneven here, so I'm thinking maybe, maybe it should just go like here and just be connected to Rogie. We put it down there, two and a half. Let's put it down there. Cha ching it's in now this is going to be the replacement for uh, Barrington which is St. Freer so we're going to get rid of St. Freer bye bye and then we'll come back over here and we'll rename this this is not Rogie East this is going to be St. Freer space it there we go um, bum, 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 bum. How the hell are we going to do this? Maybe to about there-ish. Yeah. And then we'll switch back to... Now, we'll do large streets. Yeah, let's do large streets. So, one going up there. One going up there. And... Jeez, Rogie's getting to be quite a big place, isn't it? <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, let's put another one around there. Cool. All right, so how on earth are we going to structure this? Well, we've already got the bus stops. Now, do I, do I utilize the bus stops? I suppose it would kind of make sense, wouldn't it? If I possibly can. Um, yeah, so we'd want another bus stop, probably like over here. Well, for the just, uh, but I think that's just going to be the tram. I don't know. We'll see. I don't really want to play around with the blooming bus routes again. So I think we'll just put one tram stop in there. 
and then we'll figure it out. So, okay, so that's all the roads now upgraded to, um, in the center, uh, bus lanes and electric track. So, what we need now is, um, is a depot somewhere. So, I guess, let's see, how are we gonna do this? We wanna put in a tram, I'm gonna put in a big tram station down here, I think, somewhere down here. So, flip you around. I would I wouldn't mind putting in a kind of a an indentation like that. It might look quite cool actually. Um, leave a little bit of room. So we'll put that there and we'll put the depot opposite. What do you think? That might be might be quite cool. Uh, yeah, that's the tram station. So we'd have the trams coming out like from there. So the trams are gonna come out. Oh look at all the Look at all the electricity lines everywhere. My lord. Okay, so we want uh, we want some trams, don't we? Buy trams. How many trams are we going to have running around here? I'm thinking maybe, what, five on each? Yeah, I'm thinking like five on each. So one, two, three, four, five. The thing is, I could probably get rid of the buses now, couldn't I? Oh, maybe I get rid of the buses and we'll have more trams. So, yeah, let's do that. Then I don't have to upgrade the buses. Yeah, 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 let's do that. So, what are we doing? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's have, what do you think, six in each direction? Six in each direction. They've got to come down to the station, though. So, um, maybe, I don't know, seven? <laughs> yeah, let's go seven. Let's go seven. So, set line. We want a new line. Um, this is going to be, what did I say? This is going to be pink, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so that's the two tram routes put in, the clockwise and anti-clockwise. So they run from the airport up here through Victoria Street. Then they go up, well, one goes up this way, round the New Road and Queen Street and down to Dawley Central, which should be really Rogie Central, which is a very good point. That should be Rogie Central. Let's change that. Rogi Central. There we go. Try and keep it consistent. That's much better. And then back round the loop and back down to the airport. Cool. Now I'm going to leave the bus lines in for the moment and I'm going to see like um, whether whether they've stopped making a profit or like we'll see. We'll see how they manage. So that is Rogi done and Rogi Airport done. Uh, I've definitely got three terminals. Yeah, I've got three terminals. Cool. Holy hell. That um, Right, so that's those done. So we've got somewhere else down to Rogi. Now, where are we going to put the next one? Um, now, I was thinking about... It's like between um, Dogging on the Sly and Loganstone. I was thinking in it like here. Let's put it in around there. Um... Actually, can I, can I get it closer if I move that road out? Yeah, let's see. It'd be more expensive, but if I could, it'd be kind of nice. So let's get let's get rid of this. Road. We want to replace this road anyway. So let's just take it all the way back there because it's it's very windy at the moment. Let's take it back. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see. Where would you go? Where would you go? You go anywhere sensible. No. Um, so I could do a bit of terrain manipulation. Let's do a quick bit of terrain manipulation, see if we can make this work. Yay, it'll fit. <laughs> it'll go in. Hooray. So let's see. About there, I think. Yay! My god, I've got a lot of work to do on that terrain. Let's do that as well. Um, now let's, let's come off straighter at this end. There we go. That's what I wanted. Peachy. Ah, uh, no. No. Thank you. Now, do I want to come that far down? Yeah, probably not, actually. I just want to hook straight into the, Well, no, I want to come around like that, really. It's a bit more elegant. And then we'll hook up to that bow. 
I think we need to take that back and hook that up like that. There we go. Cool. All righty. We have got ourselves an airport. What I'm going to do, just to try and get, because otherwise this episode is going to be like six hours long. Uh, I'm just going to hook it up into, uh, into dogging on the sly, I think. Um, God knows how I'm going to get the freaking terminal, the tram terminal in, but we'll give it a try. There. Hooray. I guess I should have smoothed that off a little bit, but, <laughs> but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, right. So having done that now, did I put it? Yes, I put it in as electric. Good. Uh, and did I put this in as electrified with trams? Yes, I did. Excellent. Right. So all we need to do is go over to dogging and uh, a quick zip round hopefully should sort this out so we want to upgrade god i hope this is going to be quick i can't really see the roots very well um what are we doing Dogging on the slide we need to change the roots so i can see them so that's our dogging gp now that should be changed to yellow to yellow all right and then rp dogging where are you you should be red and you should be like blue. And I picked those colours because they're kind of the most visible in it. Because like now it's easy to see. Now it's really easy to see. Right, so what was we doing? We was upgrading this. So, oh, the roots moved. No, it hasn't. <laughs> it's just me. Um, do I move that over to there? I think it would actually be a good plan and have this running up there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So first remove the old bus stops. There and there. Then put in the new bus stops. Bus and tram stops. Right, that's corrected the route the way we want it to go. Cool. Now, oh, I'd got that going up there. Ah. Okay, so bus lane, no. Tram track, no. Upgrade. There we go. And then bus lane, yes. Electric, yes. Cool. And around here. I already did that bit. Okay, apparently I already did that bit. How the hell did I already do that bit? Oh, yeah, because I went up there, yeah. So we're going around there, and then we come along this way and we've got another sticky bit that won't upgrade it's amazing how many of these you run into and it really does slow the process down and it's freaking expensive as well uh yeah carry on upgrading so we're up to we're up to there then this strip down here and then now yeah that's definitely the way we want to go down there, 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 along here. Now, does that take us down? Where's the station? Have we already done the station bit? Where the hell's the station? Oh, the station's across there. Oh, man, we've got to go across the bridge yet. Yeah. Oh, dear. Okay, that's all going to need to be redone. Oh, okay. Okay, so that's going to have to get moved by the look of it. And two, three. There we go. How does that look? Yeah, that's not too bad. Should put the sound barriers in. Don't really need them, but all right. Yes. And uh, we'll leave room for that road to be upgraded. So that's going to go in there. Uh, where am I going to put the tram terminal? Yeah, I'm not going to put it. I'm not going to put it over. I think I'm going to put it at this end for a change. So, uh, oh, I tell you what we could do. Oh, I know what we could do. What we could do is we could put the tram depot connected to there. And we could put a road depot in as well. Uh, so that's the tram depot. We'll put a, a road depot in. Make this, make this a bit of a feature. Uh, put it that side. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Excellent. This, uh, this definitely needs a little bit of decorating, though, don't you think? Yeah, of course it does. We'll, I'm not going to do it now. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not going to do it now. Um, let's upgrade this to at least a large country road. Oh, and now I didn't want 
No, no. There we go. Even after we've done this, I'm still going to have to come back and sort out the truck route. Although, um, it should be it should be kind of not too bad now. Uh, tram. Dogging. So. Okay. All right. Um, what I was planning to do, because that's kind of over in that corner. This one's over in this corner. This one's over in this corner. So what I was planning was to put one over in this corner. Now, I've got Wend over here. I was thinking of doing this as um, RAF Holton. But I, you know what? I think for, for this episode, for the purpose of just getting this episode out, because otherwise you're not going to get a freaking episode tonight, uh, I think we try and get these like working, and then we'll add that one, if this works. Let's see if this works first. So the first thing we're going to do is, uh, is we're going to buy, I don't know, a couple of aircraft, I suppose. Uh, you know what? Let's get the... Oh, I tell you what we'll do. I tell you what we'll do. We'll get a couple of 737s, right? And we'll put these on the line from... Uh, we want to get rid of those lines, don't we? Those lines don't exist anymore. Yeah, where's the line manager? Uh, let's get rid, let's get rid of those three lines. Uh, yep, you're gone, and you're gone, and you're gone. There we go. Right, so, set line. You two are going to be on a run from... Oh, come on, set line. New line. There we go. You're going to be on a, on a run from Freer International, St. Freer International, over to somewhere else. All right? And you're going to go to somewhere else, and then you're going to go to... Dogging. So it's going to be a circular route. And it eventually we'll put this in as well. Um, okay, so that's that. And then we want, we'll buy, um, we'll buy, a, I don't know. Are we going to get a couple of these in here? No, I'll tell you what we're going to do here. Here we're going to put in a different route and different aircraft. Uh, and here, oh, I've already just bought that one, haven't I? Okay, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll put you on... Um, set line, we'll put you on that line. Cool. Right. And then we're going to buy another aircraft, which is Concord. And we're going to get Concord running on uh, a route just corner to corner. So this is going to be a new line, and that's going to run from here, and this is going to be red. For sure. All right, you're going to go from there over to here. All right, so how does that... Yeah, that just... So let's take off, fly all the way across here. Cool. Yep, that works for me. Okay. So you can see why I need the fourth airport. And, we'll, and then we put, like, Concords going corner to corner, corner to corner. And then the 737s flying around the outside. That's the plan. Uh, we'll leave it at that. So, actually, that red line I want to rename. So, where are you? Um, so, line two is actually going to be Concord. Boom. And what I'm going to do, so I bought one core Concorde over there. I'm going to buy another Concorde over here. So we've got one at each end, I suppose. Um, where's the airport? Here's the airport. We've got our Concords flying out St. Freer, haven't we? Uh, no, I don't want to upgrade it. I probably want to upgrade the others because I've probably forgotten. Uh, I want to buy a Concorde. So what do I want? Um... Yeah, depot. No, oh, thank you. Uh, buy one Concorde and put it on line concord there we go all righty holy hell okay after all that shall we watch the planes roll out i think we should go oh look there's concord <laughs> here come the 737s 
Train 19's reached its lifetime. What train is that? That's Halo Freight. One of the Halo Freight 2 trains. Okay, this is a proper freaking airport now, isn't it? Okay, let's um, let's slow this down. Now, while that's kind of sorting itself out for a second, I'm just going to go over. I'm just going to double check that I see I didn't upgrade this. Oh yeah, I did. That's got three terminals. Okay, cool. And this one, did I give that one three terminals as well? Yeah, that one's got three terminals. Oh look! Oh, how freaking sweet is this? Oh, quick, back over to the other corner. <laughs> what a take off. Oh, and I've got to check out the tram route today. Oh, this is just too awesome. There's also 747s. Right, let's, let's have this guy taking off, shall we? Let's pop you over there. We want to get rid of that. And we've got some things that are broken, but I'll fix those later. It's not the end of the world. Here we go. Oh, that sound of the engines powering up is just perfect, isn't it? They have got the aircraft just absolutely bang on perfect. And I love the fact that the, it, the game doesn't compromise. It doesn't say, oh, you know, I'll, I'll give it some ridiculous takeoff route because it goes off the map. It's like, no. I'm going to put a proper takeoff route in, regardless of whether it goes off the map or not. Okay, well, sorry, but as much as I want to see that, we are not missing the takeoff of Concord. Because this, and, and you know what, let's go over here, because Concord might be taking off over here, I think it actually is taking off over here. Pause. Oh, it's begun. We can watch two. We can watch two takeoffs. This has already begun. Let's pop you over there. Let's get rid of you. Not you anymore. So, here we go. Concord takeoff. Well. Oh, look at the undercarriage. It all folds away. I wonder if the nose cone actually moves on this. Because the, um, the nose on Concorde obviously should be down for, uh, for landing. And then it goes up for when it goes to supersonic flight. Now let's check out the speeds. Because this is, this is going to bank around. And then once it gets straight and level, this thing is going to accelerate like nothing on Earth. Well, except the fact that it is from Earth. Here we go. It's currently cruising at 162 miles an hour. Then it levels off. Powers up the engines. 300. 400. <laughs> 500. Oh, come on. 600. Keep going. Keep going. I wonder if he gets sonic booms. No. It's already slowing down. Oh, man. We might do a really long map for the next one. We might do a three by one. Aspect ratio. Where are you going? Why, why is it going so slowly? Why are you going so slowly, Concord? Seriously, it's doing 150 miles an hour. Why the hell is it doing 150 miles an hour? Okay, that... Oh, you know what? Because it's stuck behind this. I guess... Oh, I was trying to click on the aircraft in front. Yeah, because it's stuck behind this. Okay, we definitely need the fourth airport so that that doesn't happen. 
Because then they'll be flying diagonal, and these um, these 737s will be flying like along the edges of the map in a square. You know, I'm kind of tempted. You know what? For for the for the time being, let's change that route. Well, I don't know. Yeah, let's change the route. Let's change the route. So you, we'll watch Concord coming to land, I suppose. But we'll change this route. Uh, just pause for a sec, because I want to see Concord land. We'll change this route so that it's just going from St. Freer to um, to somewhere else. Then, dogging on the slide, then it comes back to somewhere else. Right, so if you want to go from St. Freer to dogging, then you have to take Concord. Yeah, that works. And that'll, that'll clear the route for Concord. Here we go. Oh, blooming PG. Right, where's Concord? Oh, Concord got waved off, I think. Yeah, it's... They put it in a holding pattern. It is an absolute thing of beauty. Concorde is one of the most beautiful airplanes ever, isn't it? Right. I'm going to speed you up, because we want to get you in for a landing. Here it comes. Powers down, lines itself up. Oh, the train passengers will all be going, look, look, it's Concorde, look, out the window, up there. It's going over us right now. The nose cone's down. Oh, and it's got waved off. Are you kidding me? Oh, because there's a freaking... Okay, we need, we definitely need the double runways. We haven't got we haven't got the double runways yet. When did we get the double runways? Oh, but that was a beautiful shot. I wish I hadn't lost it. I guess it got back. That when it was climbing and banking, that looked so damn good. All right, where's the other Concorde? Uh, let's get uh, let's get them. Oh no, let's do it this way. Let's get rid of that. Let's get the Concorde line up. Vehicles. So this is aircraft four. Let's, um, where's aircraft five at the moment? Oh, it's just coming to take off. I want to see if, now that I've cleared that line, whether this will get up to a higher speed. So, come on you. Get yourself taken off. There we go. Gonna bank round and let's see what kind of speed you get up to. Uh, your aircraft five, aren't you? That's the one we want to watch. Not aircraft four. So let's see what speed you're gonna get up to now with nothing in the way. So what did we get up to? We got up to like 600 last time. This has got enough distance to get up much higher than that. So we're up to 600. Oh, and it's freaking slowing down again. Now why are you slowing down? Not slowing down because it went over a town. No, I don't think so. Seriously, why would it slow down? Is it because it reached its maximum altitude or something? I don't know. But to cruise, I like Concorde cruising in like half its journey at 150 miles an hour is kind of defeating the object. Alright, it's coming in for a landing. Are you actually going to be able to land or are you going to get waved off? You're going to get waved off because the other Concorde's coming in going to take off 
Yep. Good grief. Okay, well, there you go. That's that. Uh, before we end this episode, I do want to have a quick look at a couple of things. Uh, I want to see what... Uh, well, okay, we'll start off with, like, what's our general profitability. So, we made... Uh, well, we're making 60 mil so far. What did we make last year? So, we spent 61 mil on construction, 71 million on new vehicles. So, that's 130. And... We were down 18, so we made over 100 million last year, which is pretty freaking awesome. That's really nice. Um, let's slow things down a little bit. Let's look at our individual line profitability. So, we've got any passengers for the... This is the, this is the other airline route. This is the um, 737s, isn't it? Let's, um, let's call that. Let's call that 737s. 737s. Uh, let's, so this is AP, and Concord should be AP as well, really. So let's change that. Try and stay consistent with the naming conventions. There we go. All right. Um, no passengers yet, but that's kind of not too much of a surprise. Not any any passengers at all. Oh, well, we've got a tram coming in. Got any passengers? No, no passengers. No passengers coming to the airport. All right, let's have a look at our tram lines. How are our tram lines doing? Because they've had a little bit of time to run. Now, the Sparks Yorkie is making like three quarters of a million, and he's doing awesome. Oh, and these are all picking up passengers. Oh, I think they're going to start making money. And, oh, and we do actually have passengers waiting. Where are you going to? Oh, he's going on 737. So these, I guess this terminal is a 737 route. Okay, cool. So we've got passengers coming to the airports. Hooray! Um, so yeah, I'm guessing that there's kind of no reason why those shouldn't start making some money for us. We'll see. Um, they may be a little bit down because obviously we've got the bus routes in a couple of them. But we'll kind of see. We'll kind of see. Somewhere is getting some passengers. That's really nice. Uh, we may need to increase the frequency and add a couple of trams to some of these. Because that's like two minute frequency, which is probably a bit too much. But uh, but that's really nice. Now, let's have a look at the um, the freight lines. The, the, the road freight lines to see how they are doing it. Oh my lord. These are the new ones. So, Rogi 1 and 2. You know what? Let's, uh, let's crank it up just for a minute. I would really like to see if these get around to uh, to making a bit of a... Well, I mean, yeah, Rogi probably not going to make... Oh, we've got the Graf Zeppelin, which is apparently a, a passenger ship. Okay, cool. Um, actually, Rogi, we're probably not shipping enough to Rogi to make a difference. Um, Sparksville, Sparksville 1 is making 400,000, that's kind of nice. Premier 2K is making 300,000. Um, Bickerty, oh, Bickerty's starting to get towards making a profit. Barrington's making a profit. Things are definitely looking up, and both Halo Freight Lines are now making a profit. Who freaking Ray? In fact, all the GP lines are much better than they were. Look at this. Uh, yeah, 300,000. 370,000. Yowzers. Things are generally looking good. How are things on our passenger lines? On our passenger lines, we're making 53 million and 47 million. And I'm thinking we definitely need an upgrade on that. Um, but we need to finish upgrading all of the other things first. But have, like, having put the trams in as well... I would think. The thing is, look, we've got loads of passengers. I love seeing the trams running around. They are sweet, aren't they? There's only got two passengers at the moment, though. Oh, it was just stopping. There we go. And now it's picked up a full load of passengers. Oh, I think they're going to be very profitable. You've got a full load of passengers as well on the bus. 
And of course that's going to be shipping more and more and more people out to the railway, even faster. So let's see, what are we, we've got 136 waiting, not, not massive amounts of people waiting, which is good. So our passenger line is doing a good job. Um, what else did I want to check? I, um, the other thing I wanted to check was the performance of this. And judging by the amount of, of construction materials that we got waiting here, I would say this is probably doing fairly well. That we spent two episodes putting together. How is it actually performing? Uh, that's, yeah, this is the one I want to look at. So what do we want to look at? We want to look at train freight. Ice Cream Stone is now making 7.5 million. Ice Cream CM is making, yeah, one and a bit. Let's look at those and actually look at the finances over time. Oh, yeah, mama. So let's see. Um, this made, yeah, this made 7.5 million last year. And it's just been going up, 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 up. This one made 1.2 million last year. Now remember, that's got a lot more capacity. That could probably do, probably double what it's doing now. So that could probably get up to, I don't know, four or five million, I would think. And this thing, oh, that, I mean, this should do more than 10 million with the capacity that it's got, which is just freaking awesome. How, how, how much are they producing? Look at this, we're up to 700 at the materials plan and we're up to 770 that's now gone up to a limit of 1600 yowzers this these lines are going to max out fairly soon capacity wise and they'll be making us a lot of money so let's see we are well we've got yeah we made 112 million last year fan freaking tastic and, and really, that's like, I think that's still a drop in the ocean. We're up to 900 million. I'm going to pause it there. I think even that is pretty much a drop in the ocean. I think if, when you think that I've only like optimized like three of the cities and, uh, and we've only optimized that line, if I go around and do everything else, oh my Lord. Well, you know what? Come back for the next episode. Um, we'll, we'll carry on with the optimizing. I'll carry on doing a bit in between each episode and, and we'll keep going and we'll see. Do we, um, do we get passengers? Onto Concord. Right, let's see. Let's just look out. Let's have a look at our airplane lines. We, well, we've got a passenger on a 737. Will we, in the next episode, see some passengers on Concord? I have to come back to find out. I'll catch you for that. Hope you enjoyed this. Peace out.